Hi, Tom Warrender here from Classroom Medics. We're at the University of Wolverhampton today where we're going to visit the School of Applied Sciences to see some students who are studying for a human physiology degree. Now, the experiment we're going to go and see is all based around looking at how much oxygen your body absorbs during rest and exercise and how much carbon dioxide your body produces during rest and exercise. So it should be quite an exciting experiment. Let's go and have a look. The first thing these students had to do was collect the air they were breathing out at rest into a very special bag called a Douglas bag, which you can see in front of this student here. They then had to take an air sample from the bag using a syringe so they could analyse the levels of carbon dioxide and oxygen at a later point. They then measured the volume of air in these bags using a very special gas meter. You can see these students pushing the air through the meter to record the number of litres that were expelled by their subject. Now, remember the gas sample taken in the syringe? This is analysed using this gas analyzer. The number on the left is the percentage of oxygen and the number on the right is the percentage of carbon dioxide. So the student attaches their sample, opens the valve and then pushes their air into the machine. As the air goes in, you can see the numbers change. It takes a couple of seconds for the numbers to settle down and from this expired gas sample at rest you can see that their sample had 18.6% oxygen and 2.8% carbon dioxide. Now to compare this to exercise the students then had to take part in five minutes of moderate exercise and to keep the test fair they all cycled at the same speed and all at a resistance that matched their body weight. This would allow for cross-subject comparisons. I repeated the test, took a sample, measured the volume of air, analysed their gas sample and looked at the results. If you look at these results you can see that the gas sample during exercise had less oxygen than at rest. It also had more carbon dioxide than at rest. This shows that during exercise, your body uses more oxygen, so there is less in the air that you breathe out, and that your body produces more carbon dioxide, increasing the levels of carbon dioxide you also breathe out.